MSC Virtuosa, MSC Virtuosa, Maersk Nesting on 1 3. This is MSC Virtuosa. Go ahead, Maersk Nesting. It looks like we are going to be passing you head on very soon. Are you happy to pass green to green? Yes, copy that, Maersk Nesting. Happy to pass green to green. MSC Virtuosa out. That's a good copy, MSC Virtuosa. See you green to green soon. Monitoring 13 and 16. Maersk Nesting out. Hello, I just wanted to show you this little um, Marine VHF radio app that I've made basically to go along with uh, the ship simulator games that I've got such as Virtual Sailor and uh, Fish in North Atlantic and also Ships at Sea It's basically a standalone program that I made in Godo or Godo and it basically just uses a uh, SQL database to pull out details of each region and then pull out um, like information on the on the names of the berths and also details of the uh, of the vessels and that kind of thing and it's just basically got simple functionality in there it's got silly stuff like being able to change the color of the background and I can also change the time zone so if I'm playing in uh, virtual sailor then I can change the time zone so that the weather reports and everything else match what I'm actually uh, using in the game. Obviously for things like fishing North Atlantic and ships at sea that won't work because it's a compressed time but yeah for Virtual Sailor it works works pretty well. Now at the moment this is only for my own use which is why I'm using basically a background that belongs to somebody else. Obviously it's not a, not a background that I have any license for or anything and the reason why it's uh, only for my own use at the moment is because on the on the database here I'm basically having to enter everything manually. I'm having to set up the vessels, I'm having to set up the regions manually and also because it uses the uh, the built-in Microsoft Windows text-to-speech thing and it uses the built-in voices so, so so if you look at the addresses here of the of the voices you'll see it's using the ones that are basically hidden on, on the machine so there's no way that I can really uh, distribute these voices with the uh, with the app, which means it just relies on whatever you've got installed yourself. So that's a little bit difficult to handle at the moment with the code. And uh, in the app, it also has a section for weather, but I'm just doing that straight from a text file. I just copied the information across from Virtual Sailor because there isn't any way to send the information automatically, but it's just nice to give it a little bit of a weather report. Let me uh, turn the sound back up and you can sort of have a listen to it in action. This is HM Coast Guard with the weather report for Southampton and the Solent at 1700 hours. The wind is blowing from the east northeast at a speed of 11 knots. There are scattered clouds. Visibility is greater than 6 nautical miles. HM Coast Guard out. So I've got the keys set up here so that I can flip between regions. See at the moment up the top of the screen here I've got Southampton but I've also got Portsmouth, these are all for Virtual Sailor at the moment. But then I've got uh, Dennis Point there, which is for fishing North Atlantic. And then I've got Ross Landet, which is for uh, ships at sea. So it should have the correct locations and the correct uh, vessels in there. Security, security, security. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Ross Landed Harbour Master. Ross Landed Harbour Master. Ross Landed Harbour Master. We have received information from the vessel Veroy that they are currently experiencing mechanical problems that are restricting their ability to maneuver. All vessels in the vicinity of Lingve are to exercise caution when operating around Veroy and must be prepared to change course if required. Ross Landed Harbour Master out. I'll try my best. 
Kaiken 4 out.